Hello everybody. My name is Bill Harrison. Uh, uh, I'm the founder of Harden Power Systems. Um, I pretty much take care of the, uh, the research and development and, uh, and the design of our products. Um, uh, very involved in uh, really every phase um, of, uh, of coming up with uh, something from a concept uh, to it leaving our doors and, uh, and hopefully uh, arriving at yours. Um, wanted to talk to you today about, uh, about something we are real excited about. It's a very cool thing. Um, and uh, the video's uh, maybe been rushed a little bit. Uh, at least it certainly isn't scripted because there's been really a tremendous amount of buzz and a lot of questions uh, and uh, frankly some concerns and uh, 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 a, lot, a lot of questions raised um, on the internet and over the phone and uh, forums and whatnot. So I was hoping I could quickly uh, describe what we've got, explain the reasoning behind it, um, give you a good understanding of the product, uh, and then you can make your own decision about, uh, about its merit. Um, the, uh, the, the, the product is called a Revolt. Um, it's essentially an armored battery system. It is, uh, it's about uh, two inches by five by eight, um, weighs about two and a half pounds. It's, it's heavy in your hand, uh, feels kind of like a brick. Um, and uh, it uses a, uh, a, a nickel metal hydride uh, battery bank. Uh, there's a lot of different technologies out there um, for battery chemistry. Uh, our juice boxes and our tough pups all use uh, what are called AGMs. Um, AGM is, uh, is an older technology, it's very robust, um, long life, uh, very well known. Um, not a whole lot of secrets about AGM and how it works. Um, but it does not have uh, really close to the energy density of something like uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, and by energy density, I mean how big, how heavy is that battery, and how much power does it really hold. Um, uh, you may have heard of lithium ion, and that's a, that's a, a, a competing uh, chemistry for batteries. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, we considered lithium ion for the revolt because it would have allowed us to put a, a little more energy in a similar size package. Um, uh, but a good design is full of compromises. You just, you just hope that you make good decisions about what compromises to make. With the, the lithium ion, they're much more expensive. Figure about twice the price for a similar amount of watt hours. Uh, charging is more complex. Um, uh, and and uh, there is a safety issue with uh, lithium ion that's not present with nickel metal hydride. Um, if you recall uh, a few years back, the laptop batteries that were that were catching on fire, um, people were saying exploding. That's a uh, not quite what was happening, but they're definitely burning. And uh, uh, those were lithium ion batteries. If uh, uh, essentially, they can become unable to, uh, to manage their heat and pressure. Um, but I'm sure they're going to get better. A lot of you are carrying cell phones that use lithium-ion batteries. It's not like it's, uh, like it's unknown tech. It's just uh, not the kind of thing that we were comfortable saying um, that, that, uh, that we were going to rely on and ask you to rely on. Um, nickel metal hydride is an awesome compromise. Uh, it's great energy density. Uh, it's, uh, it's somewhat complicated to charge, but we've addressed that. Um, and uh, uh, no hazardous materials in nickel metal hydride. Um, and uh, with any battery, there's, uh, uh, there's always like fire risk or whatever. It's a lot of energy in a small package. Um, but it's a, it's a good battery choice. Um, and uh, the particular battery in the Revolt is, uh, is 5 amp hours, which... Uh, if you're familiar with, uh, with, with batteries or with the math involved, that's an impressive amount of juice. Um, our, uh, 
our juice boxes, which weigh 29 pounds, and of course they're about like this, are, uh, that's 24 amp hours. Clearly, it, that's a lot more power, but you can't put it in your pocket, and you can't hang it on your belt. Um, uh, so in any event, it's a, a 5 amp hour battery at 12 volts. And it's really important to understand that both those numbers are important if you're going to make any kind of comparisons. It's one thing to say uh, 5 amp hours. But if you don't also say the voltage at which you're rating 5 amp hours, you haven't told the whole story. Um, the the mo most accurate way to, to describe the amount of energy here is to multiply amp hours times volts. Uh, 5 amp hours, 12 volts, 60 watt hours. If you walk into Walmart and you're looking at, at uh, cell phone chargers or something, uh, and they're saying that it's... Uh, 10,000 milliamps. Um, okay, well, it may be, but it's probably 10,000 milliamps or 10 amp hours um, at 3 volts or 4 volts. And, and that math is consistent. It's, it's, uh, if, it's, if it's 10 amps at 3 volts, well, divide by 4 for 12 volts. That 10 amp 3 volt battery would be uh, 2.5 amps at 12 volts. So, in any event, it's an honest 12 volts, it's an honest 5 amp hours at 12, uh, and if you're doing something like charging a cell phone, which it'll do, um, then you can think of it more like a 60 watt hour battery. Um, just depends what you're asking it to do.